Hi there, uh, my name is Frederick and today I will show you how to work with the Cake PHP console. Uh, the Cake PHP console is a command line interface uh, which you can use to generate code or do database migrations, do schema migrations, do schema management. Uh, you can generate pod files for translating and localizing your app. Um, but the coolest thing is you can generate the code. Uh, you can generate model, you can generate views, you can generate controllers, you can even generate complete projects. Um, and the generation uh, happens um, based on your database table. So it's an uh, ORM uh, or an object relational mapping, um, which is very powerful. So you lay out your database tables and you uh, fill in all the fields um, for the for the table and then you can generate code based on that table uh, and you can put in relationships you can do validation etc etc so it's a really really um, powerful tool um, when you know how to use it so today i'll show you how to set it up and how to uh, generate a little website uh, without writing any code so um, first let's download cake php so you can download cakephp from cakephp.org and the current stable version is 2.2 minor 1. So let's download this one. I'll show it in the finder. Um, extract cakephp. Um, you will see, you will get this folder with those files in it. Um, copy these to uh, the directory where you want to use your project, but copy the entire entire folder. So don't copy just these files to, for example, this folder, copy the folder to a certain location. Why is this? Because in this folder, there are invisible files. There's an invisible HT access file. And if you just copy these files, the HT access file won't be copied with it. And you will get errors uh, for mod rewriting, etc, etc. So um, I can even show it if you don't believe me. Um, a little bit. Wait, let's make this a little bit smaller. Okay. So if I go to my downloads and I go to my KPHP, you'll see there are two hidden files. Um, they start with a dot and in uh, Unix, um, files who are prefixed with dots are invisible. So if you forgot, uh, forget to copy this one, you will have a bad time. So I'll take this folder and I'll copy it to uh, my tutorial directory. I'll rename it to um, cake bake. That's the name of my project. Um, and now I have this. I can see if it works by going to localhost. Uh, tutorials, PHP, cake bake. You see this error? Um, this ain't a problem. This is just because uh, the temp directory um, isn't writable. So uh, I'll make the um, temp directory writable. Um, there's an easy way to do this in terminal. Um, and I'll just make the whole project writable. Just go to your directory, cd, users, Frederick. Uh, projects, tutorials, uh, let's see, listed, cdphp, and now ls, uh, sorry, clear, make some room, um, let's do a sudo, chmod, uh, sudo uh, means you um, become administrator, um, I'll take the entire folder and be recursive, so all folders inside will also get um, 777 write access um, and then I'll go to users Frederick projects uh, tutorials PHP cake bake okay um, it could be that it asks for a password but um, I'm uh, I'm already logged in so otherwise you just have to type in your password um, let's see if now the directory is writable. I will refresh. There we go. Error is gone. Um, so let's first um, 
design our database. So let's go to our PHP MyAdmin. I'll create a new database. I'll call it um, Bake Tutorial. I'll take some encoding based on UTF-8 case insensitive. Bake Tutorial. Okay, let's uh, create two tables. Uh, the first table will be products. Uh, Cake PHP works with conventions. So um, you'll have to check those out at the Cake PHP documentation. But for example, for um, tables, you always need to take the plural of your word. Uh, so in this case, it's products. Uh, it's a table with a lot of products in it. Uh, number of columns, I'll take five. We'll see how far we get. One field ID, which is an integer. I'll put a primary key on it. Also auto increment it, so it all automatically generates the new ID. Um, then the product has a name, which is Varshar, 50 characters. Uh, it also will have a um, an, uh, foreign key to the categories. So I'll say here category id uh, that will be an int and then i also add two fields created and modified um, cake php will automatically detect these and when a new insert is done or an edit has been um, done these fields will automatically be updated so that's a nice little uh, extra from the cake php guys so date time all right let's save it then let's create our second table, which is uh, categories. Number of columns also five. Press go. Also an ID, which is an integer. Primary key, auto increment. Just go off screen there. ID. All right. Uh, also has a name. Name for the category. Um, then bar char is good enough. Fifty characters. Also add the create and the modified fields, which are daytime and will be automatically filled in by KPHP. Save. All right. So now the link between um, the products and the categories is that a product has a category ID, which is a foreign key to one of these uh, rows. But of course, now we don't have any data. So there is a relationship. So a product has one category and a category uh, belongs to a product. So um, with CakePHP, it's really easy to set this up. So let's see how we do this. So first, let's go uh, see how we can use the console. So I'll uh, start terminal, clear the screen. Um, so the console is in our working directory, which is uh, cake bake, cd app, ls, and you'll see here the console folder. So you can run the console by just typing console slash uh, cake. There we go. Um, welcome to the cake PHP console, some paths that uh, KPHP has detected. And these are the available shells you can use. Uh, ACL for uh, access control list, API bake, which we will use in a second. Um, uh, I18N uh, for uh, localization and international, uh, internationalization. Uh, schema for um, your database uh, stuff. Okay, so let's um, say console slash cake bake. Enter. Okay. Um, so welcome to Cake Bake. Um, it will say, hey, uh, your installation doesn't have a database uh, configuration. So do you want me to create one? Well, of course, if uh, we don't have to do it. Um, the data source is, in this case, a MySQL database. You'll also always see between these brackets is the default um, value Cake PHP proposes. So if MySQL is okay, just hit enter. Uh, do we want a persistent connection? No. Uh, what is the database host, local host? Yes. Uh, the port? No. The user? I made a user tutorial. 
in my um, PHP my admin. The password, haha, uh, very secret password test. Um, and the database name is Bake Tutorial. Uh, there's no table prefix, there's no table encoding. Does this look okay? Yes, it looks okay. Do you wish to add another database config, uh, configuration? No. And the file has been created. Okay, so let's run the console again. And now we get a little menu. So you can um, create another database configuration if needed. You can create a model, a view, a controller, an XTI project, a fixture or a test case, or just quit the console. Um, we want to create a model. So let's press M. Oh, we get an error. Um, what's this? Uh, it states, let make me, let make me, uh, let me make this a little bit bigger. Uh, database connection, unknown database, um, they say tutorial is missing. Oh, I made a little typo. Uh, let's go to the generated uh, PHP file, which is an app config database. Open with TextMate and bake tutorial will be better. Save it, go back. Console K bake, let me bake a model. All right, so now it has detected um, through my database that there are two tables, a category and a product. Okay, so let me um, generate the model for category. Okay, so I press one. So you just use the number here, one. Then it says, would you like to supply validation criteria for the fields in your model? Yes, we want. Um, then you see it will uh, loop through all the fields in your table. So first is the ID. It also says what for type it is. And then you can choose between all these um, built-in validations from CakePHP. Um, CakePHP will also automatically uh, give you some suggestions and 80% uh, uh, of the time it is correct to just use uh, the proposed CakePHP value. So here it says for the ID field, you just use 34 and 34 is do not do any validation on this field. And that's correct because ID is an auto incremented uh, value, which will always be filled in. So no validation. Then it says uh, field is name. Um, you should use 23. 23 is not empty. And indeed, um, when this field gets filled in, I don't want it to be empty. So I use 23. And if you now want to uh, add another validation rule for the name field, you can do this, but in this case, um, we don't want to, uh, just we just use no. Then um, date time, uh, the created field and the modified field, just use 34, why? Because CakePHP handles those fields, so you don't have to worry about it. So 34, modified, 34. Okay, now the cool part um, from CakePHP, would you like to define model associations? Has many, has one, belongs to, etc. Well, this is the, um, the, the, the cool thing about um, the ORM, um, about CakePHP, that you can define relationships or associations between tables. Um, so yes, I want to do this because we have a relationship. We have a relationship between the category and um, the product. So I take yes. Um, CakePHP will introspect your uh, table fields and see if it can suggest you relationships or associations. And because I um, said that in the product uh, table, there was a category ID and I used the correct naming convention, CakePHP um, found this and said, well, a category has many products and that's correct. Um, would you like to define some additional model associations? No. Looks okay. Yes. All right. Um, PHP units are not installed. Just say no. Okay. So the model has been created. Let's see how this looks. So let's go to app model category. Open this one up. 
and you see what has been generated. So this is um, some code, the class. Uh, automatically, KPHP um, will use the name field, which uh, it has found in the database, to display data. Um, title also works. Then the validation rules, and then the associations. Good, well, the model is not enough. We also need a controller and we also need a view. So let's generate these as well. So now I go for the uh, controller maybe first. So C, I want the controller for categories is one. Uh, would you like to build your controller interactively? Yes. Would you like to use dynamic uh, scaffolding? No. Would you like to create some basic class met methods like index, add, view, and edit? Yes. Um, would you like to create the uh, basic class methods for admin routing? In this case, no. Would you like to um, have other helpers uh, automatically included? No. Would you like to um, use any components? No. Would you like to use session flash messages? Yes. Looks okay. Yes. No, we don't want PHP unit files. Okay. Um, and then we still need the view. So let's bake the view also for categories. Number one, would you like uh, bake to build your views interactively? Um, no, not really. And boom, it generated all the view files. So let's see without writing any code what we have right now. So I'll go to my website and let's go to categories. Oh, categories. Hey, I have a list of all my categories. I can create a new category. Um, we also see because the association has been made with the product, we can jump uh, from um, this admin view to um, a list of all the products of course this won't work because we haven't created the product controller and the product view files and product model of course but let's see if we click on new category what happens oh i have um, an uh, insert that i can do when i click on submit i have automatically uh, the validation i um i i gave in so let's create a category apples submit hey uh, this uh, insert has been made uh, created modified so 18 16 24 seconds now when i edit this to pairs then you see the modified field has automatically uh, also changed so i didn't write any code to do this um, now I will show you uh, a few um, things which make um, Bake a little bit easier uh, because now when we go to terminal and we go, uh, we quit the console, we always have to write console cake bake. Uh, we can make this a little bit easier by creating a global um, of by adding the uh, cake directory to the global path variable. Um, so when you run a command in Unix uh, or a Unix-like shell, um, the shell looks for an executable file using the directories listed in that path variable. Uh, so for convenience, adding directories to that environment variable, so the path variable, means you don't have to go hunting every time for a file. So I'll show you how you can add this um, bake command of this cake bake command to that um, environment. All right, so um, let me go to my home directory. So cd tilde ls, okay, that's my home directory. Um, so if you want to see what's right now in your path variable, you can just do echo uh, door sign path. So you see in my path directory, um, the shell will automatically 
automatically um, look into the folder uh, user bin then the colon is used to separate uh, the directories um, it will look in bin use uh, bin bin s bin s bin uh, user local bin etc so now i want to add um, the, the directory of our project to that path variable so i can do in uh, for example um, the home directory cake bake so now you see it says cake command not found. Well, when I add it to the path variable, it will automatically look in those directories and then it will find the cake um, executable. So I will um, use Vim. Um, so I say Vim and I will create a new file, uh, bash profile, I will, uh, I will call it. All right. So now you're in the word editor of terminal um, if you want to start writing you press a and then you see here that it changed to insert so now i can insert uh, text and i'll say okay export path equals the current path and then i'll add a new directory by um, adding a colon users and then the path to our directory users frederick oh frederick uh projects tutorials uh php and then it was uh cake bake uh, bake was with a capital slash uh, slash lip slash cake slash console all right um, now if you want to save this you just press escape and then colon uh, x and then it will save the file and quit okay so now i'll quit terminal run terminal again and now the profile will be uh, red so i'll echo path and now you see that it uh, has added this directory to um, our path environment so now in the home directory, I should be able to say launch cake bake. And there we go. We are in the console. Okay. Of course, um, now the pot isn't right to our uh, application. So let's go uh, to our directory. No, let's see if it's in my history. Uh, CD project tutorial, yes, LS, CD PHP, cake bake. Okay, clear. So now I'm in my project directory and I just can say cake bake. Boom. There we can uh, create again our model, our view, our control, etc. Now, now you maybe say, well, isn't it a little bit? Uh, Irritating that you always have to create a model, a view, a controller, and do all those steps uh, separately. Well, it's also possible to just bake the controller, the model, and the view for one um, for one um, table in a database. So how do you do that? Just quit the console and say um, cake bake all. Okay. Now it says. All right, I found category and product. So I want to bake everything for the product. I'll type two. Um, PHP unit is not installed. No, don't find test files. No, don't find test files. And there we go, everything has been created. So let's go to the controller. We see the products controller has been created. We see the uh, four view files have been created and the model has been created. 
Okay, so now it should be possible when I go to cake bake products, there we go, to add a new product. So I'll say um, an iPhone. And because we um, added uh, uh, relationships, cake bake uh, or, or cake PHP is so smart to see, ah, oh, okay, a product has a category and it automatically reads all the categories. So let's see iPhone two pairs. Maybe use something uh, something better. Um, I don't know any brand of pair, so a nice pair. Submit. Um, I'll add a new category, um, apples. Uh, let, let's add a new product. And you see automatically um, the category drop-down uh, box has been uh, updated with the new category. So I'll add, um, let's say, uh, category uh, for apples, you have John Gold. And there you go. And if I edit the John Gold green, don't know if it exists, you also see the modified field automatically, uh, automatically gets updated. Um, if I delete um, this field, it just works. Um, also, if I add uh, this another apple, John Gold, and I add another pair, an even nicer pair, you see these categories are um, are links. So if I click on pairs, I get information about the category and I get all pairs which are related. So um, to this category, there is a relationship with the product. So all related products are listed here. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this screencast, uh, this tutorial about Cake PHP and how you use the uh, console. Um, if you master this, it's, uh, it's really cool because you can create a website really fast um, with a lot of functionality like the typical CRUD um, uh, CRUD methods like create, read, update, and delete. Um, if you have any questions, just ask them on my blog, and um, I hope you you enjoyed it. Okay, bye.